Hello friends, welcome to day nine of our ease into the new year. Today's class is a very gentle seated TLC. So we focus on the extremities, the hands, the feet, the wrists, the ankles, the toes, the neck, these little parts of the body that sometimes get overlooked in our normal practice, especially if we practice like a fiery power vinyasa. So we will be focusing on those little parts of our body today, just focusing on the small components that build up the whole, giving ourselves an extra little spot of love. And we're super gentle all on the floor. So whenever you're ready, we can get started. We begin lying down, feeling our body melt into the mat, corpse pose. Take one breath here, letting the day go coming onto the mat. Beautiful. And on your next inhale, reach the arms above the head, squeeze everything, point the toes, reach with the fingers. And release. We can keep the arms over the head or we can take them again by the sides. We're going to point the left foot and flex the right. So really, really trying to reach basically like the toes down into the mat. Really feeling the whole top of the foot being stretched. And we're waking up the calf as well. And flex the left foot, switch, pointing the right. Holding knees each for a moment before we switch it up and go a little bit faster. One more time, each side, point the left. And the right. Bringing our awareness down to the feet, the foundation of our practice. And flexing both, point both at the same time and flex. And now we can keep doing both at the same time or we can point one and then the other. Just waking up the ankles, saying hello. Maybe we circle them around a little bit, that feels great. Beautiful. And whenever they feel nice and warmed up, we can release them into a comfortable position. Send the arms up in front of the chest and start to take very slow wrist rolls. So make these slow, controlled, and as big as you can. Feel the stretch lengthening all through the forearm. Tops of the hands, include the fingers too. Really starting with the pinky, moving the <laughs> ring finger, middle, index, and thumb. Creating as much space in the hands as we can. Maybe we make fists and open. <sighs> Gazing at your hands, looking at them. Paying attention, giving them some of your attention. Beautiful. And releasing the hands, taking the knees into the chest, pressing the lower back down, taking a moment to just feel this nice support as we take a nice deep breath. Release it all out on the exhale. Gently coming up to a sitting position, we can find a little rock here. Whoop, and we're up into easy seat. Hands find the knees. We'll wake up the spine with a little seated cat-cow. Inhale, lift the chest, bring the shoulders up and back. 
And exhale, round through the back, tucking the chin. Moving with the breath, just a few rounds, just to wake up a little bit. Two more. And then we meet back in neutral spine. And when we find ourselves back in our neutral spine, so rooting down through the sit bones, lift up through the crown of the head, taking the fingers to the shoulders. Inhale, reach the elbows in front, and then bring them up as far as we can and back around, making these as expressive as we can to really open up through the front and back of the body. Big, huge circles, draw massive circles with your elbows. As we inhale, we feel the shoulders and the upper back open. And as we bring them around, we feel this extending and spreading through the front of the chest. One more time this way. And then we reverse, taking the elbows back, trying to reach them up the sides and bring them back in front. This way may feel a little awkward or uncomfortable, but just focus on opening up and not what you look like, because I'm sure this feels good. Two more big circles. Go, beautiful. You can release the fingertips down. We are going to take a few little neck rotations, but I want you to make sure that you do these slowly. So head in neutral position first. Take the gaze to the right. Feel where that nice stopping point is. Take your gaze down to your shoulder. And then tilt your head to lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. And gently come back up. Neutral spine. Gaze to the left. And down at the shoulder. Feeling this in the back of the neck and then up at the ceiling. We'll do a few more times each side, only going as far as feels good. We don't want any pain. We just want to wake up the cervical spine, relieve some of that tension, especially if this is our first movement of the day or we're super tight. Maybe we came, we found this class because we're having some neck tension or we just really, really wanted to give back to our body. See there, my neck cracked. Ha ha. Beautiful. I feel myself opening up with each gentle rotation, making sure not to force anything, not hiking the shoulders up either. We're relaxed. We're calm. We're collected. Remembering to breathe consciously and intentionally. And we'll do that one more, one more each side. Or even out your sides, depending on your pace. But we meet back in neutral spine. Ever you're balanced out. And back up to center. Tuck the chin into the chest, taking the hands behind the head just to gently help gravity assist you. So drawing the elbows in, still sitting up nice and tall, long spine. We're just extending from the cervical spine, feeling this in the base of the skull. And we can feel it radiate all the way down the back. Take one big breath here. We can release the hands on the exhale and start to gently roll the neck to the right side, making one big, slow circle. And then over to the left. Inhale, lift back up. 
and extend the legs out for staff pose. Beautiful, sitting up nice and tall, reach that right leg into the chest, kind of crossing it wherever it feels comfortable on top of the leg here. We are going to give our feet a little massage, the massage that they so deserve. So we can start with the ball of the foot, just rub it out. We don't need anyone else to massage our feet for us. We can romanticize self-care as well. Making sure we're getting down into the base of the foot, that instep, especially if we have a high arch. Yes, release some of that tension, making sure we're getting the heels. Maybe feeling some of those pressure points. Making sure we don't forget about the toes, just squeezing, getting that blood flow pumping. Beautiful. We can gently release and take the left foot in whenever you're ready. Maybe we stick with this here for a minute. We can pause me and we can give ourselves a 10 minute foot massage. Whatever feels good, whatever is calling out your name right now. Especially during this time, this hectic season, we're all hustling and bustling a lot. So this is a great time to take just a few minutes for yourself. Even just a little foot massage in the car after you went Christmas shopping or just a little few minutes head massage, neck rolls while you're waiting in traffic. Little things, little things add up. Beautiful. So whenever we have given our feet some love, we can come onto the knees very, very gently. Sitting back. And then place the hands, the backs of the hands on the mat. And just very, very gently, not placing any weight on the hands. Our weight is on our legs and our hips and our heels. Very gently, just start to shift the weight forward until we feel the stretch in the wrists. We'll feel it on the tops of the hands, radiating all the way up. Here we go. Very gently use your weight. Maybe rock side to side. That feels good. Very slight movements here. Nothing crazy. Breathing. And if this does not feel good, we can always plant the palms, extend the fingertips to the sides, work out the wrist that way. Any other method that you know that works for you. We're here for two more breaths. Yes. We're thanking you right now. And on your next exhale, we can gently untuck the hands, come back up onto the heels where we are going to come into an ankle stretch. So this one is very intense. If this does not feel good, don't do it. We can hang out in a child's pose. We're just going to simply lift the knees up off the mat, coming onto the tops of the feet for an ankle stretch. So using your fingertips to help you here, going only as far as feels good. Maybe it's right here. Maybe it's all the way up onto the toes. Just one breath here, just waking up through the tops of the feet one more time and release, tucking the toes underneath. We can counter that little ankle stretch. We want to first sit up on the balls of the heels, take that little pinky toe out, spread through the toes, lift up and sink your weight back. You can really feel this in the toes, in the bottom of the toes. I don't even know what to call it right there. 
and we can stay here for a breath or two, or we can lift up onto the balls of the feet, maybe kind of play with some rocking motion back and forth. You can use the fingertips. Yes. Yes, work out those toes, those ankles, get all those cracks out. Beautiful. And whenever we are ready, we can gently make our way down into easy seat where we end our practice today. Thank you for giving your extra appendages the attention and the TLC that they deserve, that your body deserves. Thank you for joining me on the mat today and sharing your practice with me. I hope to see you for tomorrow, day 10, our power yoga flow. Have a great rest of your day, my friends. Namaste.